Lula Anderson is a three times breast cancer survivor and her organizations helps patients go through their journey from detection to diagnosis to diagnosis to treatment. I talked to her about her amazing work. Tallulah, welcome to Great Day Washington. How are you? I'm doing awesome. Thank you for asking. How are you? I'm doing great. I mean, you have great. an amazing story, amazing organization. Tell us about your organization. Sure. The name of my organization is Two for Two Boobs, and it's actually an acronym for Take Two Minutes to Check Your Two Monthly. And I started my organization over... 10 years ago here in Prince George's County, Maryland, uh, to be a resource for both women and men to give them um, information, resources to educate, engage, and empower survivors who are going through or who are beyond treatment with um, and connecting them to the things that they may need as they're going through and Part, the big part of our um, organization is educating and educating about early detection and genetic breast cancer, which is knowing your family history and knowing um, your family cancer history and how that can um, help you in some preventative measures for breast cancer. And Tallulah, so cancer has touched your family. Uh, you know, you know, you're three times a survivor, breast cancer survivor. Tell us about your story. And I think, again, it's, it's amazing, but the, sure. the, you can, the fact you survived and still have this positive attitude is amazing to me. Tell us your story. Sure. So, um, yes, I have a unique family history because both my mom and dad both had breast cancer and they both died from breast cancer. So I am the youngest um, a female of my siblings, which is seven brothers and three sisters. And from our little um, tribe, uh, my I had two brothers who were diagnosed with breast cancer. One of them died from breast cancer. And then I have two sisters, who older sisters who were diagnosed and they are survivors. One's a seven year survivor, the other is close to a 30 year survivor. And then I have a brother who was recently diagnosed. So for us, it is um, genetically uh, connected because um, some of us did have the uh, genetic testing and found to carry the BRCA2 gene, which is a gene that is mutated. And unfortunately, those who have that gene have a higher chance of um, getting breast Breast cancer, not just breast cancer, but it's connected to prostate cancer, ovarian cancer, and pancreatic cancer. So Tallulah, we don't have much time, but I wanted to you, you are a survivor and you help survivors. Uh, as we wrap things up, uh, give us advice for those who are going through it, who fear they may be going through it. How do you get through it? Right. So for me, um, I always say that breast cancer is not a wide stroke, right? It's not all the same. And it isn't a death sentence. So um, from detection to diagnosis to treatment and beyond, we are all different. And take two minutes and check your two once a month. And um, early detection helped save lives. It did with me. Wow. So I was diagnosed early um, detection, stage zero, two times, and the last time it was stage two, but it's still early enough to, enough to treat, and hey, I'm still here. You're still here. Thriving. Tula. Thriving, <laughs> doing a great job and encouraging Thriving, others. yes. Tula, thank you so much, and thank we appreciate you. you. Tula says she wants to educate, motivate, and inspire all to take charge of not just your breast health, but overall health in general.